Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So in this set of videos, we're going to be looking at spreadsheet functions which would be used in the ICT IGCC uh, syllabus. So there's going to be 25 video tutorials hopefully I will be creating over the next uh, few days. And the first lesson, we're going to be looking at formatting. So lesson one. So what we need to do is we need to format this data here. You can see it's all messed up. So it looks a little bit like this. So what we'll be doing is we'll be adjusting the column rows and um, merging cells together, applying a currency, applying some borders and shading, formatting um, the text, including alignment and wrapping. So the text appears underneath itself in the same cell. So let's start. Um, the first thing we notice is I love film is merged across two cells. Okay. so. What we need to do is just merge these two cells together. So we can uh, highlight both cells and click on Merge and Center. Okay, it's left aligned. And um, this picture is black and white, but um, the formatting was meant to be uh, shaded red and text, we can change it to white. As you know, let's keep it as black for now. And you can see the height of this row four is a lot bigger compared to the other uh, rows. So we can increase the height. And let's center align the text vertically within the merge cells. So I'm going to increase the size of this column here. Okay, that's done. What we have here, rows five and six, are extra rows which we can delete. So we can highlight, press the left mouse button down, we can right click, and we can click on delete. Okay, the next row, so let's just go across here and um, we can zoom in if you want. Uh, the next row, you can see the text is wrapping, release date. Uh, this is going to be shaded gray. Okay, the uh, row height has been increased as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's increase the height of the row. Highlight the top row, shade it uh, gray. We want to wrap the text, so we can click on wrap text. And is it center aligned and bold? Yeah, looks like vertically and horizontally, um, the text is center aligned. So this one is going to be like this. Just have a look here, number of disks. Region code, just make that a little bit bigger. Okay, that's fine. Right, the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to Double click to see all of the rows. So I'm just double clicking. This row 13, we can get rid of. This row 15, we can get rid of. So right click and press delete. Okay, and this column E, there's nothing inside of column E, so we can get rid of this delete. Okay, so let's now put the border in. Actually, before we do that, let's open up all of the columns so we can click in between the letters or you can simply drag to view all of the data. Okay, so what we want to do is just open up all of the columns. We may resize this in a moment. Um, so you can see all the text inside is the same. Uh, it's left aligned, left aligned, left aligned. Yeah, everything's left aligned. So what I'm going to do is highlight all of this data here. Uh, let's make it, um, choose this font here, Calibri. Um, let's make it size 10, choose the same color. I'm just going to press and bold and unbold it in case there was any formatting. Let's double click here to decrease the size of that column. Okay, I'm just double clicking in between letters to decrease some of the um, column widths. Okay. All right, that's fine. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add a border. Okay, just gonna move that up like that, okay. Right, what else is there left to do? So the headings were meant to be bold. I'm also gonna change the font to Calibri as well. Um, okay, done. And what we're going to do also is I'm going to highlight all of these rows here. And I want these rows to be the same size. 
so the height so 1950 that will do so all of them are the same size okay let's have a look at this picture now so we've added uh, we've adjusted the columns and rows we've deleted any additional rows and columns we merged uh, the top cell here across two cells we've applied some formatting including alignment and wrapping okay did i align them all to the left just let me double check i can't remember if i did that so yes so the last thing that we need to do for the formatting is we're going to apply the currency okay uh, to this data here so we can click up here and we can select united kingdom and if you see hashtags just double click um, to see the full contents of the cell okay so let me zoom out a little bit and so we can see all the data so what we've done here is some simple formatting um, this needs to be left aligned as well okay so what i'm going to do is just make this bold and i'm just going to increase the size of this as well so actually let me just have i not highlighted the alignment okay now that's all aligned and just increase the column size there okay and i'm just going to make all of these same so all the blu-rays as well um the same so i'm just going to copy and paste into here so we've got some consistency right um so we've finished with the formatting so what we did just to recap we merged some cells together we deleted some rows and columns um we added a border added shading to the second row and to the first um row of the table okay we've applied a currency to this range of cells here and we've aligned all of the content to be on the left so in this tutorial guys we've just looked at some basic um formatting okay please join me in the next video tutorial and we will be looking at um, defining cells or ranges of cells and using simple formulas and functions thank you for your time and i'll see you guys in the next video okay thank you bye bye